Hello and welcome back to another one of Zug's Guides on Broadside Gaming. So today we're doing the beginner's guide to Arden as the Ironbreaker. Uh, he's quite a good class. I don't play him as much as I should, but when I do play him, I always do quite enjoy myself. He is an extremely tanky character, as you can look at him. Look at his lovely hat. Um, the way I usually play him is sword and board, or in this case, axe and board. And I, I have quite a lot of fun of it. So, for the beginner's guide, I'll chuck up the, the build I'm using, but I'm not going to go through it as if I would um, a proper class guide. This is just sort of getting to know him a bit more. So you've got Grumrill Armor. Completely absorbs one hit every 20 seconds. This hit does also work against um, hook rats and assassins and leeches. So if you have Grumrill Armor up and they hit you, you will get unstuck from it. I'm not entirely sure if it unsticks you, if it was off cooldown when you were hit, but then regenerates while they are hitting you. I'm not sure if it does then, but I know for certain it does if you have it up when they hit you. And for his career skill, uh, impenetrable. Barden talks on all nearby man-sized enemies, so not monsters, gains increased defense and can block any attack for the next 10 seconds. So, you know, obviously shit's going down on the team. There's hordes everywhere. You jump in the middle, hit that, turtle up. And, you know, if you're very, very good at playing Barden, obviously you can turtle up and then start smacking the shit out of everything. But if you're new to him, turtle up and just block and let your teammates deal with the horde while they're wailing on you. So, for his other perks, Dwarf Forged, reduced damage taken by 30%. It's just really nice. Doherty, gain an extra stamina shield. Always good. Resilient, decreases stun duration and getting hit by after getting hit by attacks by 50%. Very useful. So, obviously, very, very tanky. So, for a beginner, if you're going to play the Iron Breaker, I would highly, 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 highly suggest the Axe and Shield. Uh, just because the Axe is more flexible. Some may argue the Mason Shield is better, but I always lean towards the Axe and Shield just because it when you do get onto higher difficulties, if you are needed to, you can chop the shit out of things and actually help out with killing stuff quite easily. Whereas the argument for the hammer and shield is you are a crowd controlling machine. You are swinging, knocking back, staggering all the time. So they are the two arguments. And obviously you can use other weapons, but I'm, I'm sticking it with bare basics here. Uh, I would always choose ax and shield and for my playstyle, especially when you're just beginning, I know you can go the, the Drake gun or the Drake fire pistols, and they all seem quite cool. I hate them. I fucking hate them. But I would suggest either going for the handgun or the crossbow. But this is just for starting out, getting to grips with Bard. This is not advice I would carry on into doing, uh, like, legend and cataclysm because at that point uh, you may not need to be sniping you may be taking the uh, troll hammer torpedo to just decimate um patrols and things but that's something you know you work out down the line and maybe have a look at my uh, cataclysm builds and stuff for Bardin at that point but yeah so this is this is what i would suggest is the action shield and the handgun or the crossbow if that's more of your preference so you know heavy attack punch with the shield with the shield and then just start clobbering. As you can see, when you block lots and lots of stamina shields, you can take lots of hits. And if you look down in the bottom left next to the portrait, that is the little note that's saying your Grumrill armor is active. So, as is tradition, let's go do a the start of a recruit map and we'll just see how it acts in a real test. Yeah, I do. I like Barden. Um, the Iron Breaker and the Slayer are my my favourite ones to play around with. I, I'm not too keen on the Engineer because it just it's just a bit weird for me, and I'm not very good with the Ranger, so I tend to steer clear of it. 
Although the Ranger, if you're good at playing it, the the um, Jesus, just the stuff you bring to the team comp is is really useful. You know, dropping potions, dropping bombs, being able to drop stealth fields. It's it's very useful. So let us. Who have I got with me today? So we've got Shield Maiden. Soldier Kruber and we got Soul Spar as the Witch Hunter. Sadly, the Dwarf is the only one I've not completed Sister of Eternity on Cataclysm. I got to the very last mission and we got, got fucked over basically. It just. Oh, Minotaurs. That's all I'm going to say. Fucking Minotaurs. So yeah, so as Barden. In the Ironbreaker career, I think this is, yeah, Ironbreaker. So I've been painting, and I was just like, "Am I saying paint names or are the actual career names?" Uh, yeah. So basically, you just you you want to try and stay ahead, shield bash as much as possible, not to but not to the point where you use all of your stamina shields, because you want to keep two or three back for being able to turtle. So at this point, pop that. So now everything's facing me, and I can block everything. Oh, then the Grummer alarm went off. So I can hear a gas rat, and this is why I always suggest to take handgun or the crossbow. Because if your team's busy, you can switch back and snipe. But always get yourself in nice little choke points. And just hack and hew and stab and bash. And just try and control the horde for your team. But you're basically you're, you're a tank. If you've ever played MMOs, you are a tank. But play this class or career even a lot. And you will find yourself actually being able to output a lot of fucking damage. It's just when you get to it the first time, it can feel a little bit slow. I'll show you. Let's oh, go down the lift and we'll kill a few more things now. Show you a few more bits and pieces. This not this is this is a very very underrated class. I think it's because it's got the the kind of. Um, misnomer about it that it's it's boring but it's not it's just not super like fast murdery craziness like you'd get on the slayer but and this is a while at the axe because just if you get pinned down by an armored foe and your team aren't anywhere near you you can you can just fucking clean through it Yeah, basically, job is get there and get in the middle of it. And also, it's funny to hit things with your shield. It's just always amusing. Um, all right, let's see if I can get this, find this leech and show you the thing I was talking about with the Gromwell. No, oh, no, didn't want to hit me. Oh well. But yeah, if you've got the Gromwell up, which is Didn't prop the room well. That's that's right. It definitely does. I've seen it do it, and I've got other people that have said it does it as well. Maybe you've got to take damage from some like a different source. Maybe it's not the act of being grabbed. It's when something hits you while you're grabbed that does it. Mm. But yeah, it's, it's the one thing I find disconcerting about playing the dwarf is. It, you're at crotch height all the time, and I get a bit confused. I keep going to like, look up at things. Yeah, that's pretty much the um, the Ironbreaker, guys. It's it's a very fun class. I would suggest having a play of it. There are some fun builds you can do, and as I said, you know, if you like it, get good at it, and want to buy the the upgrade pack. The Troll Torpedo Launcher is um, quite funny. And if you haven't seen it, I'll, I'll give you a quick look at it now before I end the guide. But do keep in mind these are just um, very, very like for 
beginners, people who have never picked up this game or never picked up this class. It's uh, it's very much for them. I have uh, Legend and Cata builds up on the channel if you're interested in them, and I keep them updated when any patch or change comes in. I redo all of them for everyone. So, just a quick look at the Troll Torpedo, mainly because I want to play with it, and it's hilarious. And as you can see, it's a fucking torpedo launcher. And what you do is that, oh, you see that, that patrol over there? Well, I don't want to see it anymore. Fucking long reload time, right? But, it is hilarious. Anyway, there you go. That's the Iron Breaker. So I hope you've enjoyed this guide. And if you have, please feel free to like, subscribe, hit that little bell for notification, guys. I will be doing a guide on every single career, apart from Sienna, because I fucking hate Sienna. And um, I hope to see you all on the next one. So thanks very much, and I shall see you all later.